All right, welcome back to another video. Make sure you like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Today we're gonna be working on this Nissan Sentra 2007, and we're gonna be changing this hub bearing out. I try to do set step by step for y'all, so y'all know exactly what to do, and that's how we're gonna do this today. Um, so basically, what we're gonna do first is remove this <clears throat> this caliber and the caliber bracket. All right, so I'm just gonna remove the bracket and the caliber at the same time. Now, if you want to, you can remove the uh, caliber first and then the bracket second, which this will be a size 14 here. You have two, one here and one at the bottom here, but we just gonna take the two bolts off. That's a size 19. It's gonna just take the whole thing off. And once you do that, just tie it up uh, on your strut to hold it up. All right, it should look like this, tie it up. All right, next thing you're gonna do, just pull off the, the rotor, put that to the side, and you're gonna take this cotter pin out. Next, what you're gonna do, you're gonna take a inch and a quarter socket, put it on there, and zip that off. All right, next, you're gonna take these bolts off, this one here, and this one here, and two below. Uh, that's size 17. I advise you to just get a, a short socket and an extension. It'll be much easier for you. So your next step would be to, you can either air hammer this off or pry it off, however you wanna get it off. But in my case, I'm gonna just take everything off and knock it out from the back. So if you want to do it my way, you use a, on this particular car, it's a size 16 mil to take this outer tie rod off and a 21 mil to take um, the strut bolts off. So let's do it. All right, so once you got it to this point, all you got to do is take this CV axle out. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a nice size hammer and beat it from this side. But before I do that, I'm gonna spray a little uh, uh, oil in there. Just to help it. And then I'm gonna just take a nice sludge hammer and knock it out. All right, you need to get one of these big ones to do this now. As you can see, I knocked it out. And all you gotta do is put the old one back, uh, the new one in. And this is what the new one looks like. Although it was a little defective, they um, this metal piece was bent down. Uh, the shipping was horrible. But anyway, stay tuned because I'm gonna show y'all how to torque this down. So the same way you took it out, the same way you put it back in. But I'm all right, we're almost done with the project. So basically, I put the hub bearing back in, put the four screws back in from the back, which was size 17. I put my strut mounts back on, uh, bolts back on, and I put the um, inner tire rod, outer tire rod back together. Next, all we're gonna do is put the rotor on and then the caliber, and I'll be back with you guys. All right, so I'm gonna impact this down a little bit. I got it on the lowest setting, so I'm gonna stop once it um, get, get to where it need to be. All right, so now we're gonna get our torque wrench and torque it down like it's supposed to be torqued down. All right, I'm gonna show y'all how to use a torque wrench if you don't know how. All right, right now we got it at uh, 85 foot pound and this is calling for 92, 85. So we're gonna go to, to 92, which we will turn it seven times. All right, so that's 97 right there. The camera is having a hard time picking it up, but that's 90, uh, excuse me, 92 foot pound right there. As you can see, it says foot pound right there. 
and that's where you want it. Then you just lock it in. All right, so with your quarter, uh, inch and a quarter socket wrench, uh, socket, you're gonna just go till you hear the click. All right, and we're gonna do it one more time. And that is tight enough. What you wanna do next, you put your cotter pin in so it doesn't come out and bend it. Needle nose right now, it'd be much easier with those. All right, just like so. All right, so now I'm gonna torque these down to uh, 80 foot pound, and I'm also gonna go get another lug nut. Customer didn't bring the lug nut, so um, if you if this video was helpful, make sure you like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It doesn't cost any money. If y'all want these videos to keep coming, just please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.